the guy who came up with the heavyweight crank bolt socket, he's on YouTube, Chris Watson. You can check out his video here, or I'll put a link in the description. So what he did, a lot of people don't know, he took a 19 millimeter, he stuck it in an axle nut socket, welded all around, and that's how he came up with the heavyweight crank bolt socket. So if you don't watch that video or know that's how he came up with it, you might not realize that you can make a heavyweight socket for almost any size. So if you want a heavyweight 17, you take the 17, stick it in a 32, weld around, and you got a heavyweight 17 millimeter socket. So for me, I always have issues with these older Honda lower control arms, the 14 millimeters, they're always getting seized up. So I would love a heavyweight 14 millimeter. So I could take the 14 millimeter, stick it in a 32, weld it up, and I got a heavyweight 14 millimeter. And I noticed on YouTube right now, um, taking off semi-truck lug nut lug nuts with the 33 millimeter these impacts are struggling so here's the 2767 and even this is struggling on some semi truck lug nuts so i'd love to see someone make a heavyweight 33 millimeter and attack those lug nuts i don't really have access to semi truck lug nuts but it would be cool to see someone make a heavyweight 33 millimeter. Maybe take a 33 and a one and a half, weld it up, and you got your heavyweight 33. Or maybe something bigger so you can stick it down all the way in, weld it around, and uh, see how that works. So I did make a video how to sleeve the socket just using steel tubing because some of these bigger sockets do get expensive. So if you have access to a lot of steel tubing um, or you come by it easily, you can take steel tubing, slip it over the socket, weld it around, and then you got your heavyweight socket. So this is a 19 millimeter with steel tubing slipped around it and this is a heavyweight 19 millimeter. So I'll show you this working on the Milwaukee 2767. Now the issue is that I find if you use these heavyweight sockets on these lower power impacts, they don't always work out like you think they're gonna. Um, this impact, I tried it, you can see in the video, it's basically just tickling the bolt. It doesn't really have that heavy hammering action, so the crank bolt doesn't come out. But you can see the big difference when I switch it out to the Milwaukee, and um, you can see how that socket works.